I, like many of you, feel very sad over the passing, the death, the torture, the murder, I don't know, of Gonzalo Lira. First rule, I don't believe anything. Whatever you tell me, whatever they say, I don't believe it. It has to be independently confirmed, okay? Whether he died of double pneumonia, pneumothorax, whatever it was, whether it was medical malpractice, I don't know. I don't believe any of it. And that's the way you should believe, or rather not believe, any and all rules, all information, all data, all stories, everything. Believe nothing. Not only is it sometimes deliberately distorted, but oftentimes people just don't know what the hell they're talking about, and they'll just repeat things. So number one, un, unless and then, un, until it's better confirmed and more confer, confirmed, but you know the death was nefarious. You know it's suspicious. And then again, we live in a world who still can't figure out that Jeffrey Epstein was murdered. So how are you going to explain causation as opposed to pneumonia? I mean, forget it. Because we have not only the, the, the mentality of a child, we have no critical thinking skills and no basis of rudimentary abecedarian medicine or physiology. So that's number one. Believe nothing. Number two. I was thinking, well, Gonzalo, you made a mistake. You got to understand that not every country is the United States. What the hell were you doing there? Taunting, jeering, goading, laughing, mocking this, this, this Kolomoisky creation. This thug, this, this ersatz, Potemkin village, Borat, central casting, whatever, who's going to retire with, I don't know how many billions and wherever the villas are. But why are you doing this? And then listen to this. And I thought, because after all, this isn't the United States where you can say whatever you want. And then I thought, wait a minute. What about the countless numbers of Americans who were caught up in this dragnet on January 6th who were jailed? Oftentimes, I, I, I don't know if there's anybody still there in the star chamber. I have no idea in these gulags. I have no earthly idea. But they were held without bond, held without charges, contrary to the Eighth Amendment. Why? Because they were speaking. There was no way anything any of them did, even the guy with the eye patch and the camis and the guys in flying, they are not going to beat the 82nd Airborne, the 1st Marine Division, in securing the reversal, the insurrection, the rebellion, the uh, the overthrow of our country. What is this, Allende? Stop this! Stop this nonsense of calling this. <laughs> There's no. I mean, it, it wasn't. It's like if a bunch of babies with their rattles and their pampers were to say, "We want rebellion." It's the same thing. They've got just as much a chance as these other people. But that was to get Trump off the ballot and to teach all of you MAGA loons a lesson. So there I was thinking to myself, hey, Gonzalo, be careful. Watch what you say. You know, they're not the United States. Even that expression doesn't make any sense. This isn't the, the United States isn't the United States. Remember Jose Padilla? Remember the first guy who was charged? They got him at the, what, the baggage carousel at... O'Hare Airport, they got him as an enemy combatant. Remember that? After the Patriot Act? No, of course not. We didn't care. So don't give me this business about, well, you know, you got to be careful in other countries. You got to be careful in this country. Next, good for Tucker Carlson. Good for, I think, uh, Elon Musk was going to be looking into this and throwing his considerable weight around, which is good. I feel so sorry for that father. That father reminds me of so many um, men, uh, sounds, uh, so many Cuban men and fathers and, uh, that I know with, with that almost reminds me of West Tampa. I, I, I hear it. The next thing is, have you ever noticed sometimes that when you watch somebody on YouTube, you get to learn their habits? You, you remember how he, Gonzalo, he used to have these big things of water, he made coffee, and he's smoking, and he'd laugh, and he, he wore this one orange hat cap for the longest time, and his hair was, had that kind of crazy hair. 
Very smart guy. And then he had that laugh. It was kind of like, it was, it was almost like a Tucker laugh, almost like that Amadeus laugh. You know? And then I realized, you know, he sounded a bit manic sometimes. Now, I'm no psychiatrist. I don't know. I can't diagnose this. But I always wondered, where's your family? Where's your wife? Where are your kids? What are you, who are you talking to? Why are you doing it there? These people are thugs. Forgetting January 6th. <clears throat> but I feel, and I know you might feel the same way, I feel like I knew him. I liked him. He was smart. He had a great delivery. It was very bare bones. There was no production. There wasn't that, that kind of pink, soft light, you know. There wasn't the usual stuff where, or somebody sitting in a bed, you know, that's unmade behind them, which is my favorite. Or somebody said, hi, guys. And they go through the initial, thanks for watching. Make sure, please hit the bell and the like button. And please like this video. None of that stuff. He did it. He did it. He did it like he was talking to you. And I felt like he was talking to me. And when I sent out a newsletter, every newsletter starts off with, first line is, where is Gonzalo Lira? To which most people would say, who is Gonzalo Lira? Look, when it comes to the U.S., we don't know anything. I was trying in vain to explain to somebody the significance of having the South African uh, court or the South African prosecutor uh, level uh, the charges. By the way, not levy. You levy taxes. You level charges. Anyway, to level the charges against Israel. I said, isn't that funny? Uh, one of the original members of BRICS. Huh? BRICS. The BRICS got What? BRICS. What? BRICS. Now it's BRICS plus six. Huh? This is most people. They have no idea. What do you mean BRICS? Who's BRICS? What? Brick in the wall? What is this? Pink Floyd? What are you talking about? Bricks. What bricks? What is it? See, I keep forgetting. I, I, I talk to you, and then I go into the real world, and I see other people, and I think, well, they must know, and they don't know anything. So the bottom line is simply this. There will be no bottom line. There will be no inquest. Nobody will talk about this. Uh, Gazala will be forgotten. His family will not forget. We will not forget. He is unknown by people. They're going to say, oh, well, whatever it is. We live in a world where you can read, I don't know how many counts of this indictment against Israel. And people say, what? What are you going to do? <laughs> Even that, they say, well, what are you going to do? I don't know. You know that's, uh, that's war for you. I don't know. We have no feeling. We're toughened to the point of we are insensate, is that a word? We, we, we don't have empathy, we don't have sympathy. We're almost, we have many of the same traits of the psychopath, of the sociopath. We, we are detached in our I don't know what the word is. We're detached. So, I'm not religious, so I'm not going to say I'm praying for you. If you are, pray for his soul, for the repose of his soul. Pray for his family, his wife and kids. Pray that one day we get to the bottom of this. And pray that somebody, somewhere, the next time I said, pays as much attention to Gonzalo as they did with to Brittany Griner. Remember her, the, the basketball player. Oh, we had to get her back. She went to Russia, broke their drug laws. Oh, no, 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 she's, she's, uh, she's what? She's what? What is it? I give up. Not really, but I say it. I always say, I give up. So, Gonzalo, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Please be careful in other countries. Remember, and be careful in this country because freedom of speech is dead. Now comment as you see fit.